pretty yeah. fun. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another live video. So as you can tell by the title, we're going to do another discussion. And this video is brought to you by Burger King. I'm loving it. I mean, have it your way. Ah, oh, shit. Am I still going to get paid? <laughs> Goddamn. Alright, so today we are going to be discussing some cards that people have been uh, main decking and side decking for a while now because the back row hate is for real. And the cards we are looking at today are... Trapstun and Royal Decree. So, as you guys know, the back row hate is for real. Uh, Heavy Storm has been banned for a cool minute, so we've been looking to for uh, other means. Uh, Trapstun, Royal Decree, uh, MST is main deck at three. Uh, we're doing Lance, full house, but we're not talking about that. Yep. So, uh, definitely, these two have been prime uh, examples of cards that have just been straight up back row hate. And uh, we're going to go over both. So, as you guys know, trap stun, uh, it is a normal trap card. And you negate all other traps on the field till the end of the turn. While Royal Decree is a continuous trap card, which states that as long as this card remains face up on the field, uh, negate the effects of all trap cards on the field, except for this card, so except for itself. And we're pretty much going to be discussing, um, well, why, why these cards are being played and, you know, our opinion of which one is better. So... Uh, lately, Trapstun has been doing, putting in a lot of work. It's it's been kind of like that hidden gem that no one's really been picking up, and now all of a sudden, when they pick it up, they have been picking it up. As you guys have seen, I've been you know play testing it in my Ubel decks, and I've also play tested in my Castello deck. And uh, the reason I like Trapstun is that it's kind of like a contradictory play, where it's kind of like I'm gonna block your traps this turn, but when it's over, my traps are you know back in effect. You know. Uh, you know, cards like Cold Wave have done the same exact thing, or it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna do my thing, but when it's your, when it's my, when it's your turn to do your thing, no, 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 I'm not gonna allow you to do it. And that's essentially what Trap Stun does. Um, if you use Trap Stun correctly, you can make your opponent neg one, uh, but sometimes it might be smart just to flip it up at the beginning of the turn so you can get warning because of course this card is only supposed to be two, while warning is supposed to be three, especially with people uh, starting to play Black Horn of Heaven, which is also oh, yeah, a spell free three card, so uh, you need to watch out for that. <clears throat> On the other hand, you got decks that are playing Royal Decree, uh, arguably the most powerful version of Bujins play Royal Decree instead of back row, because if they get Royal Decree, Kaiser, and a Yamato, you know, that's that's pretty much GG. So, <laughs> hey, don't even uh, get started on that discussion. Definitely, Royal Decree is a very powerful card, locks up the back row. I play it on daily duels just to, you know, when I'm tagging with people because I don't want them to play back row, you know, especially when you're tagging on, like, Dev Pro, etc., where, you know, you're doing against two people and uh, there's no limitations to the amount of back row they can run it except for the set limitation so then at that point you're going against two warnings two bottomless two compulse four mirror force six fiendish chains and you know what I'd rather just throw the decree your ass and just get it over with you yeah. know um now, me personally uh, the thing with royal decree is is that it pretty much gives away that uh you're not running any back row either you know uh Royal Decree is kind of a uh, kind of a relief as long as you're not running as long as you didn't open up with too much back row uh and your opponent row decrees, you'll be okay knowing that, hey, at least they can't back row you as well. And, you know, that's actually reassuring. Well, on the other hand, if your opponent trap stuns you and they still have a lot of other back row, you know, for all you know, that could be two more trap stuns. That could be actual back row. You don't know. Uh, so I feel like trap stuns is a, a scarier card in comparison to Royal Decree. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. What do you have to say about that, Mr. Iron? My whole thing on this is... Trapstun versus Royal Decree. Trapstun does its does the work, like especially against say. <coughs> shoot, um, oh, I'm trying to think. Burn, chain burn. This ruins chain burn. Like they're gonna do all their activate everything. Then you just flip trapstun. You're just like, no more cards for you. Yep. Um, another thing. Uh, Reckless Greed. This is a good way to counter Reckless Greed. Yes, it is. It really is. That's why everybody's getting these trap stuns mainly. It's just stopping stopping that fat person eating cake thing, you know. Uh, but with Royal Decree, is once it's on the field, it's, it's on the field. I mean, with trap stun, when you activate it, your own traps are also stopped. So you gotta you gotta take that into consideration. But it's like at that point, no fucks given. Um, Royal Decree. It's been around since the dawn of time. I mean, Tournament Pack 4, that's years and years ago. That's like, what, second year into this game going? Mm -hmm. Royal Decree is amazing. It's it's just this with Bujins, this and anything. I mean, anything that's playing minimal back row, great. 
you know you're, you know most most decks, if not all, minus Bujin, are playing massive back row. This shuts all that down, makes all traps, dead draws, everything. It's yeah. just, you, you just can't. This, on the other hand, is a surprise. That's a surprise. Because the... it, it, even leave in this MST chain, okay, yep. you just stunned everything. Yep. This? Trap stuns like, jump out the bushes, stab you! Yeah. <laughs> Royal Decree being a continuous, there's a big target on it, you know, you know, your opponent, if, you know, MST is being ran at three this format, so, yeah. you know, MST's that's a big target, you know. So is Decree, though. Decree I mean, that, that's that what I'm three. saying, Decree, I mean, yeah, but Decree is at three. You know, I see a ton of people wishing that Decree would go down because they want to play their chest, but I feel like Decree is a necessary evil, and the kind of game where, you know, uh, back row kind of rules that you can simply lose a duel because your opponent won up you with back row, and then they'll turn around and say, GG. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, it says, uh, definitely, uh, if you hate the back row and, you know, you just want to stop it all, go ahead and flip up that Royal Decree. And, uh, you know, make your opponent dead draw some traps. Yep. So, any other uh, mentions? Um, on this situation, not so much. I just know there is some rare, been, there's been some rare occasions lately that I forget your camera's like there. <laughs> yeah. Um... People have been doing both in the same deck, believe it or not. I have seen some deck builds, uh, especially in Bujin's case. Weird enough. Three decrees, two trap stuns. Wow. I don't know why they're doing the trap stuns. I know people have been main boarding Divine Wrath lately. We'll talk about that in the other video. Yeah, but with the trap stuns, that's five, that's three decrees, two trap stuns, and trap stuns just to be like, three MST. Yeah, exactly. This is just target food. It's, 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 it's getting ridiculous with all this back row hate. And these are the two main causes of it, too, now, next to Full House. Yeah. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this live video. Uh, like I said, I do not have a tripod, so I'm using my camera, my phone right now. And I apologize for the a lot of shaking in this one, a lot. I'm super hungry right now. My blood sugar is low, and I'm constantly shaking right now. So I apologize for the shaking. Uh, see, even in starving to death, I'm still making videos for you guys. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this live video. Please continue to support these live videos by giving this video and all live videos a like. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next time with another live video. Thanks for watching.